Well, hello there. I'm Christy and welcome to my kitchen. So in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I will be making a Dublin coddle, which is a traditional Irish dish that is definitely a comfort food. This dish dates back to the 1700s when what you had on hand was added to a pot to simmer. It is a rustic, simple and hearty dish that is full of flavor and features some of Ireland's best meat and potatoes. So I'm blessed with a sister and brother-in-law who love Ireland and all foods related to the UK. And they happen to have some Irish pork sausage and bacon in their freezer. And so they let me have it for this dish. Now, if you can't get your hands on Irish meats, then by all means, you can go to the store and get some pork sausage and bacon. But I'm excited to use the authentic Tommy Maloney's Irish brand meats for this dish. All right, so I have all my ingredients here on my counter and I'm just gonna walk you through how to make this step by step. But I will leave you the recipe in the description box below. Now there are many recipes out there for Dublin coddle. Uh, I'm just gonna use one that sounds good to me. All right guys, so let's get started because it's that time, time to cook. All right, <clears throat> so you will need a pound of pork sausage and like I said, I'm using this Tommy Maloney's traditional Irish breakfast links for this. And I'm just gonna cut these in half. You could leave them whole if you like. All right, I'm gonna push these over to the side because now I'm going to work on the bacon. All right. And bacon from the UK does not look like American bacon, just so you know. It's kind of more like Canadian bacon. And I'm just gonna cut this bacon into small pieces. All right, so in my oval cast iron enamel coated casserole dish here, I have around three quarts of liquid, two quarts of chicken broth and a quart of water. And now I'm just going to place the sausage and the bacon into this boiling broth here. I'm gonna make sure you break up that bacon. I should have scattered it a little bit better than I did, but it's okay. And then I'm gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes or so. All right, so while my pork and bacon is simmering there on the stove, I'm going to work on my vegetables. Now I'm using Yukon Golds for this. I'm gonna peel these, and then I have one large yellow onion. I may end up using more than this, but I'm gonna slice that. And then I'm going to use some carrots in mine because I had them in my fridge and I wanted to use them up. You don't have to, that's optional. All right, I'm gonna peel these carrots onto this paper towel here so that I can easily throw them away and right, then I'm going to cut them into coins and I don't know that might be all the carrots I'm going to use actually my onion and then I'm going to slice it thinly into rings bowl of water. All right, so now I'm going to slice my potatoes, but I want to slice these pretty thick. All right, so now it's the time that I'm going to remove the sausage and pork and place it into a separate bowl. And at this point, if you want to remove some of these casings, you can do that. They're a lot easier to remove after they've been cooked a little bit. Just peel them off. All right, so now I'm going to reserve the broth. I thought 
can do this without making a mess. So now I'm going to layer the meat and the vegetables in my cast iron casserole dish here. So starting with the sausage and bacon, I'm going to put a layer on the bottom. All right, and then I'm going to layer in some onions. Then some carrots. And then potatoes. All right, then I'm going to season with some salt and pepper. Start, start over with the meat. Want to pour that broth back almost all the way, but you don't want it to go over the potatoes. Now I'm going to lay a sprig of thyme and a bunch of parsley, and I'm just going to lay them right on top. I'm going to cover my casserole dish, turn the fire back on to a medium heat, and then I'm just going to let this simmer for about 40 minutes or until those potatoes are tender. All right, so it has been about 45 minutes. I'm gonna remove the parsley and the thyme. I'm gonna add a third of a cup of half and half. And I'm also gonna add about a tablespoon of a good Irish butter. All right guys, so the Dublin Coddle is all done and boy does it look delicious. You guys have gotta come check it out. And I could not have the Dublin Coddle without some good Irish soda bread. I will give you the link to the recipe that shows you just how to make it. Oh yeah, those sausages are delicious. Thank you, Susie and Mark, for giving me the Irish sausage and bacon. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a very happy St. Patrick's Day. God bless, and I will see you soon with more delicious recipes.